Hello, today I'm going to tell you how I made my meatloaf with buffalo sauce. Now I just take some ketchup, put in a little dish, and some Frank Hodge's buffalo sauce, and some Worcestershire sauce, granulated garlic, you know, dried out just a tablespoon, and a tablespoon of ground pepper. And I whisk it all together, you know, until it's nice and fully incorporated. Now I don't add an egg like, they, like most of us do, because you don't really need it. It's, it'll be fine without it. I take the ground beef, you know, break it up a bit, add the panko, and then you can use any breadcrumbs you want. It's up to you. Then I take the sauce, I pour it all on there, mix it all together. Until it's mostly coated, until it's all coated, and you, you, know, you don't see a lot of pink. Now your hands are going to get messy, but that's fine. It doesn't hurt you none. Let's get mixing together, and you take some onions, dice them up. I just bought them pre chopped, I don't really care, so I just stick them in there and mix it all together. I'm not folding it. So they mix, you know, nice and evenly. You get this nice little log. If you want to take that little loaf, pop it in there. Make sure it's nice and as best you can. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's fine. I take more, I make more of that sauce without the garlic and black pepper, just the sauce, ketchup and buffalo sauce, and some sure sauce, mix it all together again. Spread it all over the top of it, until it's nice and thick. Pop it in a 350 degree onion for 30 minutes. And after that 30 minutes done, you want to spread more sauce on top of it, put it back in for another 30 minutes. And after that 30 minutes is done, you want to check the temp to make sure it gets to 160 to 165. And once it's there, you want to drain off all the fat. Wait till it cools down for 10 minutes. And you can slice it up like that, and it comes out perfect. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed the meal. Thank you for watching.